Hey everyone, welcome to GrowMed. I am Dr. Patmini and I have cleared my FMGE in the first attempt in the recent Jan uh, 2024. Okay, so in this video, we will look at the one line questions asked from the medicine. So in this video, I have tried to cover almost all the one liners which are asked in the recent exams uh, like the Jan 2024, then the July 24, uh, 22, 21. Okay, and I have also uploaded the videos of the other subject, the other one liners on my youtube so you can go and find out those also so before starting let me uh, discuss one thing with you all that in the medicine almost case based questions are asked so case means uh, two or three line short questions so you need to find out the diagnosis or the next step of the management or the investigation okay so so the pattern of the questions is more like the clinical cases but somehow two or three one liners also can be asked so you need to look at the one-liners also and by looking at some one-line questions you will be also able to solve uh, the clinical cases because uh, these one-liners can act as a piece of a cake in the question okay so uh, these one-line questions whenever you find uh, such kind of things or features in the question you'll be easily able to make the diagnosis so let's look at the one-liners uh, so uh, this necrotic migratory erythema so this finding classical finding is seen in the glucagnoma okay then moving on to the next question most common cause of pituitary microadenoma and it is the Cushing syndrome so this question one liner this was asked recently in the Jan 2024 also okay the next question most common cause of elective splenectomy and the answer is hereditary spherocytosis okay so this question this was asked in the Jan uh, in the Jan 23 okay then moving on to the next question investigation of choice for hyperparathyroidism so we will be doing the system maybe scan for the hyperparathyroidism then most common cause of death in diabetic ketoacidosis uh, so it is a quite easy question cerebral edema and this question uh, is a repeat question so it was repeated uh, two three times then drugs that decrease mortality in the chf so i think this one is a very important question and every year uh, this question is repeated so there are certain drugs that decreases the mortality uh, and they are the beta blocker okay? then uh, ace inhibitor like the pril drugs lisinopril then sacubitril so these drugs play an important role in reducing the workload on the heart by which uh, this will be helping in increasing the long longevity of the person okay? so this question can also be modified like drugs that increases longevity or increases the life okay so it will be the beta blockers or the ace inhibitors then another repeat topic that is the rhinoid phenomenon uh, so treatment of the rhinoid phenomenon you will be mostly using using the calcium channel blockers so the next question the rescue pci so the question was asked uh, rescue pci hum kab karte hai? persistent chest pain with increase in the uh, st elevations okay so jab bhi st elevation rahega uh, for more than 90 minutes after the thrombolysis we will be doing a rescue pci then most common immediate complication of the splenectomy which is the hammer rage okay and postural hypertension so the definition of this postural hypertension was asked and it is defined as the decrease in the systolic blood pressure by 20 mmhg within three minutes of the change in the posture so this is the definition of the postural hypertension then the next question most common cause of berry aneurysm and it is due to the muscle intimal elastic lamina defect okay so the artery uh, the muscle intimal layer of the artery is defective and that leads to the berry aneurysm then a most common infection within one month after the renal transplantation and it is the cytomegalovirus then another favorite favorite question of the fmge this is the pneumothorax and the management okay so this can be asked in integration with the surgery also describing a case or image they sakte hai, you need to identify it as pneumothorax and then uh, they can ask the management okay so pneumothorax is a very important topic and repeatedly different pattern of questions are asked on this pneumothorax so the management of the pneumothorax is we will be doing the needle Thoracosynthesis. Okay, so in the fifth intercostal space, we will be putting a drainage, and uh, in pediatrics, it will be in the second intercostal space. Then moving on, most common cause of the mitral stenosis, and it is the rheumatic fever. So it is the rheumatic heart disease. Then emphysema seen in the chronic smoking. So sentry SNR emphysema is seen in the patients with chronic smoking. Then the next question definition of the resistant hypertension and it is if the hypertension if the patient is hypertensive 
even after using three classes of antihypertensive drugs which will be including uh, the diuretic in it okay so so this will be called as a resistant hypertension then bulging fissure fissure sign on the chest x-ray so it is a feature seen with the klebsiella pneumoniae so whenever there is infection caused by klebsiella we can see the bulging fissure sign on the chest x-ray so you need to look at the image also ki bulging fissure sign kaise dikhta hai then best test for the short term control of the diabetes mellitus and it is the serum fructosamide and the best test for the short term control of uh, long term control of the diabetes mellitus and it is the hba1c okay so the pattern of the question might differ ki uh, case dena chahenge na to they'll be describing ki uh, diabetic mellitic patient tha when he was uh, being treated and he was taking so and so drugs but despite that his uh, blood glucose was more so which of the following method you will be using to look at the long term control of the diabetes mellitus okay and this question was asked in the recent jan 2024 okay so moving on uh, exudative pleural effusion the pleural effusion part exudative and transudative it is also important and the exudative pleural effusion is seen in the cases like the rheumatoid arthritis periorbital puffiness due to the pneumothorax so this condition is called as the subcutaneous emphysema okay so due to pneumothorax there will be accumulation of the air causing swelling of the of the eyelids then most common joint involved in the osteoarthritis it is the dip distal interphalangeal joints are involved more commonly in this and another very important question is the normal anion gap so this question uh, was asked many times and there are two conditions which we can see normal anion gap one is the diarrhea and the second important is the renal tubular acidosis then moving on to the management of the acromegaly so in acromegaly we will be using okay so for the management of the acromegaly we will be using the lenreotide report and this question was asked in the jan 2024 23 okay so this was some uh, important one liners which were asked in the past year i hope the video will be useful to you and it will help you in your preparation so i've already uploaded a video on the important or the must do points from the medicine subject which you can go and watch uh, i will be also giving the link in the description box like the video share it with your friends and also subscribe to gromed for more videos regarding the fmge thank you so much for watching this video guys bye bye